Diamonds in your eyes My logic's to my she knows it Yeah, nobody owns it quite like you Devil in disguise Got me hypnotized, she knows it Yeah, nobody does it quite like Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. We have our project today. We are doing another boat upgrade. I think I'm running out of upgrades to do on this boat. Uh, we are gonna be doing the stainless tips on the Malibu, right? And they are the silencers. I think that's what they call them, right? They got the baffles in there, see that right there? So we are gonna do this. I've kind of been dreading doing this because I know it's gonna, man, I have to get in that engine area and disconnect those hoses inside. I don't know how hard these are gonna be. The old exhaust flaps to take off. I have no idea how hard that's gonna be. I'm hoping that it goes together easy, but nothing in life is easy. So we are gonna get into it though, because uh, I have searched the YouTube up and down for instructions on how to do this. So hopefully this helps and uh, I'll let you know how much time it takes. We'll start the clock and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. All right. So our first step is probably gonna be disconnect the inside because I think if these things are flopping around, it's going to be hard to get that tube off. So I think you want to have this stationary and take disconnect the tubes first. We'll see on that. I'm not sure. I'm going to get in there, but I want to show you this, that it looks like we'll be removing four Phillips screws, these four right here. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to go inside and see how technical that's going to be. All right. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna take a look over here. I can't get in here very good, but I'm gonna take a look at what I'm dealing with. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I have to get to that big tube right there. See that right there? I gotta get to that. So I'm gonna have to take off the side panels over here to get to it. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. This is exactly why I've been holding off on this project. All right. I'm going in with this. Um, I think you should have an extension. I think it's gonna make it a little easier. We'll have to see. I think it is though. So going with a 5 16 with a ratchet with an extension. Okay, so I got it disconnected. It's not quite as bad as I thought it would be because this actually, this big hose flexes in the middle so you can kind of push down on it. I wouldn't take those bands off, just leave those there, but we are disconnected from the outside. So now let's see if we can get those outsides off without too many problems. So this is very tricky right here because the silicone is uh, really has this stuck on here. Uh, I went on some forum boards and got some advice from some people. So I, I wanna kind of free the silicone up because that's the problem. It's on there like a rock and I'd be very careful with this, but this is like a pipe wrench. You're gonna damage this, but let's go in the trash anyway. And hopefully, you gotta be real careful here though, man. Like don't mess around. So like you can kind of, I don't know if you can hear it, I want to be real careful though, so if it slips, it doesn't get the glass. You can hear it. Hear that? Can you hear the silicone breaking apart? So that's what we kind of want to do here. Just go slow. We don't. We don't want to. You know, I want to make sure. Take your time with this, for sure. Like, don't rush through this. In fact, I'm gonna. I can. Okay, I can kind of feel. I can kind of see it breaking loose here. Just. A, Okay, so I think I got it now, but I want to show you. So I broke, it's all about getting the silicone freed up, right? So I broke out the silicone and then I drilled these small holes around the edge, which allowed me to kind of go like, like pull it a little bit like this and then also like rotate it like down. So you can see it's moving right now. It's going to come off, but that's what you want to do. And that should finally, Woo! there it is. And that's your left with. So make sure you're, we're gonna make sure that we clean all this off next, get all that silicone nice and clean and go on to the next step. As you can see too, these bolt holes are not gonna line up with the holes that we have. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Okay, well, I ran into a little dilemma here. So the tolerances on this are super, super tight. In fact, it was too tight to start with. And I ended up using one of these just to kind of go around the edge, you know, one of these stones. You can get those at a lot of different places. Now, I'm gonna have to go in because they have these knobs here, so I have a choice. I can grind these knobs off and say, I don't care about those, 
or I can notch the glass. Um, there's a piece of me that wants to just grind this off because I don't think, see how like that hose right there is just pushed up against it. I don't think the hose is gonna wanna fall off that deal. So I'm on the fence here, grind it or cut holes in my glass. I think I'm gonna grind it. Yep, I think I'm gonna do that because I just don't think, I think if I clamp those clamps on good enough, I don't think it's gonna come out. I don't think these knobs are gonna make one difference. And also too, that's probably gonna make it harder getting in through that hose. So let's go ahead and grind these off. And uh, you know, otherwise you can go in and notch your fiberglass. I just don't wanna get in it and crack gel, crack the gel, get spider cracks going, so. All right. Okay, I got it. As you can see, used a little uh, sandpaper wheel. Just scuffed it. Didn't get, don't get crazy with it. And now it should slide all the way through. You're gonna wanna make sure, make sure you get in here with the razor blade and get all this stuff off really good. And then maybe chase it with like brake clean or something. I don't know, some kind of cleaner on the outside before we put the new silicone on. Like I said, we're gonna have to grind this out a little bit because the tolerances are so tight. So just gotta make sure everything's clean, we're done. Okay, well, we have both sides cleaned up. We got the old stuff off. Not in the best condition, but these are going to the trash can, so it's not that big a deal. And uh, I guess we're ready to set the new screw templates and put it back together. Well, I scribed it with a pencil and then I went in and before I kill it, before I commit to those holes, I just put a little small drill bit on it. Nothing crazy, just barely hit it. Not enough to get into the glass too much, but, and then I'll put it on back on real quick just to make sure those holes line up because you want those things really to be close to center. Okay, you gotta be real careful when you go into glass. You're actually supposed to go backwards on it. I like starting with a very, very, very small bit, right? And that way you have least chance of screwing things up or chipping huge amounts of glass out. So what you don't wanna do is get a big bit in there that's throwing big pieces out. But I'm gonna go a little backwards on this and see what happens. It still drills it, even though you're going backwards. I'm just gonna take my time. You don't wanna rush this. You can wobble it out a little bit. And then once you actually get it, you go forward with it. Not forcing it too hard, dude. You don't want to get crazy here. Okay, we're all the way through. Make sure you don't want to go through your hose. And see, there's a pretty clean hole. Now we're going to go, this is just the first hole. There's going to be another one. You can kind of see in there. Let me see if I get it. See, I'm just going to do a real small one first. And then I'll get another one. And then we're going to chamfer the outside. I'll show you why. As I get to the bigger bit, really making sure that I hog the inside outside out and you're trying to go dead center in the middle don't force it in hard Just worry more about keeping it straight so you don't get into the glass see if you take your time you'll end up with holes that don't you know spider crack out the problem is when people rush you know Go back. Whoops. We're gonna go backwards. Okay, I wanna show you two things on chamfering the holes. Cause this is really important, man. And this is like the difference between, like I said, cracks not showing up later or not. So I have one hole here, right? That is the size that we're gonna use for this, right? This is the size right here. So I'm gonna show you this. So we're gonna put it, you make, make sure, this has to be going backwards, right? And so what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, real nice and easy. A little bit of this, not very much. You don't want to slip out of that hole. You're not going all the way through, you're just doing that right there. See that? Okay, now I'm going to show you something. Because that edge is very, like, sharp. And that will crack. So I've got the stone, right? Now we're going to chase it with the stone a little bit. See that? And now that edge is no longer sharp. It is 
fairly dull. You know, it doesn't feel like like super sharp. This one right here needs to get done. This one's sharp. I'm just gonna hit it. See that? It just does it and it feels, you can feel it with your fingers. You'll know what I'm talking about when it feels, uh, let me blow it out real quick. There you go. That's what it should look like. And now you can see too, I'll put the screw in there just so you see. And so we shouldn't be getting into the glass at all. So hopefully that'll keep us from getting spider cracks later on. Um, I saw on the site from uh, Bakes where we got this, that they said customers, you know, who bought this, bought this. So I would assume that this is what they're buying. Uh, it's a clear silicone and I think it's a long-term deal. So we are going to fill the old holes. That is important to fill the old holes up. And then um, I am going to fill the back side. Let me show you. My goal here is to do this right here, edge, right? And then a little of this. Like I'm gonna put a bead right here to seal that part up. It's pretty tight, but still, I think that's the way to go. Because I noticed it had a bunch of silicone on it before, like on this area, so I think that's what we gotta do. And we're gonna clean all this off real good too. Now, I kind of put this on there, looks like a lot, right? But I can always clean off what I don't use. And I filled the holes up too, right? So I'm putting a real thin layer on this, this part, right? Real thin. Just gonna work this one around with my hands here. All right, just like that. And then we're just gonna work it with our fingers all the way around. And then when it butts up together, it sticks pretty good. And then I'm gonna do about one inch up the barrel. Oops. One inch up the barrel, all the way around. Okay. All right, so we are going to, I'm just gonna lightly There it is. It actually does sound quieter. I mean, just from when I've done this in the past out here, I don't know how much quieter it's gonna sound like in the water, but right here, it does sound quieter. We get to go out now. We are here at Lake Success. I'll be able to take the boat on the water, try out the new exhaust system. It looks cherry on the boat. And then we'll also see if it's quieter. I'll give you my honest opinion too, whether this is just aesthetically better or if it does uh, actually work better. So let's check it out. I don't want to want to then. I'm in a fashion, you man. Never thought I'd turn it down. We're recording us, I close. We've been breezes on my phone. Seeking love in the ghost Okay, well, we are cruising right now at like four miles an hour and there's no exhaust smell right here. And I think I used to smell that actually. So that's a good sign that the exhaust is being kind of blown down a little bit and away from the boat, from the platform. Well, the boat is definitely quieter. Uh, we do a lot of filming right here from the back of the boat. And I can tell right now that the motor from this point, from this point of view, from right here, is quieter than it was. And I'm also not really smelling exhaust fumes right here. We'll go ahead and pick it up a little bit. Still a lot quieter. 
Yeah, it's definitely quieter than it was. Usually you wouldn't be able to hear me on this deal. Pretty stoked. Anyway, there you go. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit us up. I'll try to answer them. And uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, throw us a uh, subscribe. Click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. This is Billy at Meetup.